Hi, my name is Ella Auchincloss, and this is the third video in our series about Story of Us. So as you recall from our previous video, our public narrative framework has three distinct practices within it. The first one is the story of self, where we tell the story of our own call to leadership. The story of now, which narrates the urgent challenge that we face. Um, and who we are uh, in the face of that challenge, and then the story of us, which really drills down to who are we as a people, what is our common source of hope, what are the things that the leader can point to as values, and what kind of stories can the leader tell about the people, his or her people in the face of that challenge. So why do we bother to tell a story of us? Well, we bother to tell a story of us well, there are, I can think of a lot of reasons um, that aren't necessarily scripted, but you want to be connected to the people that you are telling your story to, and you want to illustrate too that you are listening. You are listening for those sources of hope and courage that you are seeing out there. So much of leadership is about the practice of listening, and the story of us illustrates that you as a leader are listening, are paying attention, are keeping your mind's eye out and open for what's actually happening in the community that's illustrating that the community has what it takes to address the challenges that it faces. So it's a way of building relational commitment, which as you remember, is the glue that's holding your snowflake together. So who are what I would call the us's in your community? And how would you describe their stories? And so with those questions, I'm gonna invite you into the elements of the story of us. And then I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit later in this presentation about how you would craft the story of us. And then our Jane Erickson um, will narrate her story of us. So first to the elements. The first thing I invite you to think about is who is it that you're inviting to join you in taking action? And what do you know about them? And how can you integrate their stories into our greater story, this bigger story that will comprise your public narrative? So take a moment and think about what are the shared experiences of the people in your community that can help create a common identity? Are there stories of moments when you all have overcome another similar challenge? Are there stories of when unexpected leaders emerged and did something that surprised and inspired you? Are there stories of um, communities that really had very little and managed to overcome great odds? How would you tell their stories? What was the challenge that they faced and what was the outcome that emerged? So I'm going to drill down a little bit deeper to encourage you to think about some of the ways that you can draw out a story of us. So imagine first, who are your people that you're narrating this story to? Think about them. Imagine them in the room. What about these people fill you with excitement or hope? What makes you pleased to be in relationship with them? You might list that on a piece of paper, list, list those values or attributes. And then pick one of them. How do you know, let's say that you think your people are courageous, or you think that they are um, very capable, very uh, trustworthy. What stories can you tell that illustrate that? Is there one person in the community that really um, sticks out for you as illustrative of those values. So if that's true, then how can you tell that one little vignette of a story as a way of illustrating the story for the rest of the community? Share that vignette. Your story of us is comprised of those little vignettes of people that you've met along the way who've inspired you 
and who lead you to conclude that this is a group that can join you in the face of this action. So you have some worksheets in your guide that will help you think about teasing out those vignettes, starting with the values that you are assigning to the people in your community. So how would you workshop this? Again, you'd, after your story of self and doing your story of self work, you would gather your groups into the story of us after watching this video, and you would just take a shot at developing it using the worksheets that we've provided to you in the guide. And then similar to the story of self, you would share the story. I, again, I encourage you to keep it to three to five minutes, very short, use a timer, and then encourage your storytellers to get coaching. And we're gonna be doing that here with Jane. And after she's done, um, I will debrief her story much uh, in the way that I did with Peja. So without further ado, here's Jane Erickson. Three years ago, Bobby and I decided to write a proposal to the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation for a project about a simple but pretty radical idea. We know that our health system is producing mediocre results. So instead of focusing on a small slice of that system, why not build a project that aims to actually redesign it? I'm not disillusioned about how challenging this goal is. And even though I deeply believe in the importance of this work, I've had my skeptical moments along the way. Can we actually create the space for this kind of deep change in our already overloaded schedules? This kind of change takes a long time. What can we really do in a two-year period? And will people be really open to seeing things in a new way? I know the road is long and that you all have been doing this for many years already, but even in our short time of working together, there are incredibly promising signs that we're making real progress. It's clear that we're transforming how we understand our leadership roles in our communities. Marsha's value proposition presentation during our June meeting is a great example of this. Her words were spoken from the heart, and her story was one of hope that really felt like a bold invitation to partner for change. We're also making real progress in our communities. Teresa, Kirsten, and the King County team have stepped up with ambition to think about sustainability beyond the time frame of their accountable community of health. They are modeling the leadership Ventures is trying to encourage by really owning the long-term, wide-angle lens view of their community and encouraging others to join in carrying that forward. And really importantly, we're continuing to see ourselves as connected to something bigger beyond the immediate work of our specific mandates. Donna and the Central Oregon team understand that as they work to address the sticky questions of system transformation within their partnership, they're also helping the Oregon government to do so and other partnerships across the state. They aren't measuring success by being better than everyone, but rather by raising the standard for what's possible to begin with. All of this points to signs that we're ready to move to the next phase of breakthrough thinking together. We're shedding old mindsets with real courage and boldness. And I'm really proud of how far we've come together in such a short period of time. And I can't wait to see what audacious steps we take together next. Thank you, Jane, for your modeling of the story of us. I want to debrief the story of us uh, that Jane offered by 
lifting up a couple of things that I saw in her story that really illustrated the framework very beautifully. First of all, it was clear to me by what she said, the thing that really jumped out at me in her story was this idea that she and Bobby had this audacious vision that they were looking to bring to reality by inviting people who had already been at it for some time. And then she went out and she narrated some stories in particular, I just wrote them down, where she talked about uh, people who were showing signs of, project, of progress. So she mentioned uh, Marsha uh, really redefining her public leadership role and the evidence of that was the way she showed up to the virtual team meeting. She mentioned Teresa and the way that Teresa and her team at King County are with a high degree of ambition really shifting how that conversation is going in that region. And then she uh, mentioned the value of being connected, having, to, having seen the teams be connected to a source bigger than themselves. And with that, she lifted up the vignette of Donna. And in all of them, she's showing that she is in solidarity with this community, that they are really in this together, that they are together addressing a very daunting challenge. So I heard in her story values of courage, values of deep commitment to system transformation, which is no small thing. And from Jane, I just heard a real deep commitment, growing commitment to this group um, and a lot of hope for what they have going forward. So I thank Jane for the illustration of her story of now, and I hope you all will glean something of that for your own stories. Thank you.